Welcome back to Underpar Acres. Last week we finalized the sub base, we had the turf delivered and got it rolled out, and now we're going to go in and we're going to secure the turf down, smooth it out, and get the cups cut. Last week we finished the sub base of our putting green, and we had the turf delivered and we were able to get it down to the green and all rolled out. This week we're getting the turf all smoothed out using a knee kicker and we're going to use landscape staples to get it secured to the ground. In order to get the turf smooth, we've got to use the knee kicker over and over in order to get rid of all the air bubbles that are underneath the turf. While this is a pretty easy task, it's a very tedious one as well as I've got to cover just about every square inch of the green to get this thing smoothed out. I spent about two hours using the knee kicker to go around the entire green and get it smoothed out. And I slowly was putting in the landscape staples on the outside once I had it exactly the way I wanted it. I'm tucking the turf over the edge of the landscape border that we used, and I'm gonna come back when I'm done and fill this all the way to the top with dirt so that I can grow grass that grows right into the edge of the green. And once I've got all the landscape staples in and it's fully secure, I'm going to cut all the loose ends of the turf off and we're going to save those to use later as chipping mats. Next up, I'm going to use my hand to locate where the cups are and then I'm going to use a box blade to start cutting the hole out in the turf for the cup. I can't afford to make a mistake at this point so I'm going to use some very sharp scissors to go around the edge of the cup and try to get it to perfection. We're going to use our wet dry vacuum to clean out the cup as it had a lot of sand in it from when we finished the sub base. And then we're going to get to work cutting the next three cups. Next up, I'm gonna blow the green off, roll it, and put our two flag sticks in. And while we still have to do the landscaping around the edges of the green and fill it with infill, it's starting to look really good and is completely usable. And not only is this green good for putting, but even without infill, I'm able to hold a 34 yard wedge shot to the back right pin location. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll be doing the landscaping and the infill next. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button for us, subscribe and follow along.